Um, we have a short agenda today, so hopefully we'll be done in less than three or four hours. Um, <laughs> All right. Uh, first order of business is the approval of the minutes from November the 12th. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Passes unanimously. Public comment. Seeing no public, uh, no public comment. Um, move on. We have no new business, no old business. Um, <laughs> I have uh, one thing I wanted just to go over today uh, was the um, ordinance, the proposed ordinance that um, will be voted on, I think, next Tuesday, um, which will change the way the um, committee works and the way the appointments are made. Um, and so each city council person will be able to appoint one member as they do to the Finance Commission now. There will be one member appointed by the uh, Indian River Shores and one member appointed by the county, uh, which will give a total of seven voting members, which is make the committee a little bigger. And then there will be two alternates, which are appointed um, by the council. The uh, council appointees must be city residents. Um, the... Uh, when this first came up, I had some questions and uh, for the council, uh, and I asked, and I um, and I understood some of the some of the motivation behind this. Mr. Uh, Kramer has not has felt that he hasn't had a representative on the on the committee, um, and so he's he's wanted to change it for I think probably a while, um, and he brought forward this motion and really I I spoke at the, uh, at the city council meeting is in favor of it because he's been unhappy so it doesn't seem it's going to change how we function or what we do that much um, but some of us will or I guess at the date all once the new board is appointed as I understand it and I've spoken to the county attorney um, once the new seven are appointed, or maybe a majority, I, I don't know if we wait on the county, um, then the new um, commission will be seated and we will dissolve. Um, so we may have another month, two months, and to meet as this, or um, perhaps next Tuesday we'll have new, new committee members. So... Anyways, um, I wanted to take uh, this opportunity to thank everybody that uh, publicly that, that, that we've wor really worked together well for the last two years. Um, we've gotten a lot accomplished. I'm really pleased and um, happy to have uh, served with everyone here. Um, and I hope that the uh, commission will continue to do the good job it's been doing for the city as it goes forward, um, and that this will solve the uh, uh, some of the concerns for some of the council people. Um, and um, Wayne, I just quoted you saying that I'm going to give repeat this. To, you can have the opportunity to correct me. We're going to continue to serve until. A majority is appointed, or what? Yes, good morning. Wayne Kement, city attorney. Um, basically, this is just a first step in any reorganization. The ordinance is. The council would still adopt a resolution once they have uh, their members selected that they want to appoint. And there would be a resolution basically reorganizing then the the uh, commission to match the ordinance. But until then, you, you serve until there's a replacement, if any. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Um, okay. And any, um, any other comments? And Scott, just for the record, when you were saying the county attorney, you meant the city attorney, right? I did, yes. Just I, to keep the minutes straight. Thank you. I did not speak to the county attorney about this, no. Well, and, and just to add, and remember, the, the ordinance has not been adopted yet. It's public hearing on Tuesday. So 
who knows if it, it gets it may, adopted. It may or not. not be adopted. Sure. Okay. Thank you for keeping keeping me straight there, Chuck. As you would expect, I have a comment or two. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm not quite as uh, philosophical as you appear to be, um, just having received this and heard about it. Um, I don't know. I think because someone's unhappy, uh, uh, that that's not a sufficient reason to make uh, a structural change of, of this nature, in my opinion. Um, I think we've taken a step, or the city council will take a step, to eliminate the concept of representative government with some accountability, particularly as it relates to the biggest utility of the city and the one that's been the most contentious and where you have 65% of the ratepayers who reside outside of the city limits. Um, I, I hope that uh, some council members will actually reconsider uh, their motion because I think what you said earlier about the conduct and performance of this group has been uh, excellent. Uh, every time a solid proposal was presented with support and backup and a business plan um, with some modifications made as a result of the business or expertise of some of the members of this committee we proceeded with it. We approved it. I can only think of one major issue that wasn't supported, and it simply didn't stand the test, nor would it today. And um, I don't know. I just think the public ought to be somewhat concerned about this, the city residents in particular, because I know in terms of my own statements over the past year, um, I've been concerned with respect to uh, the rate structure and the need for some to speak for the city residents, not just the rate payers in the county. So I think they ought to be alerted to the fact and be aware that if this can happen to us in what I think is an arbitrary fashion, uh, it can happen to anybody, it can happen to them. I just think it's a step backward in terms of fair and reasonable <laughs> government. Um, but uh, I'm served. I'm glad to have been here, to have worked with all of you, and uh, I wish the city the best. Um, I'm still a big supporter of Vero Beach and always will be. Uh, I just think this is the wrong step at the wrong time, and uh, I wanted to be able to say that publicly. Thank um, you. Mr. Chairman, I would like to speak as well. As having served the past uh, years as, as an unincorporated member of the board, I um, feel that um, I have tried to be um, impartial and listen and take into consideration uh, the interests of not only the un unincorporated people that are ratepayers, but also the city ratepayers, and is what is best for both. I hope that in this move, when they have only one unincorporated appointed person by the county that that is someone a that is a utility user of water or electric if the, while the electric is still there um, I think that you might leave yourself open because I'm sure the county especially with the utilities of uh, water and sewer will be more inclined to appoint someone who will maybe not take into interest the um, uh, interest of the utility as a whole and we'll be looking more to what the county wants and wishes to push. But that's only one vote. So I just hope you don't set yourself up for um, you know one member that uh, comes in and, and, and is not necessarily as impartial as I think most of the members of this board have tried to be. I have enjoyed serving, and I've appreciated the opportunity, and I wish you the best. Mr. Chairman, I, I too feel the same with our group here at, over this time period I think that everybody has served in an impartial fashion that they've looked at the whole of the utility situation for the best interest of all the ratepayers no matter where they are located and to better what is provided within the city of Vero Beach. Um, it's a sad situation when you have a committee that works very very well 
and you see that the potential of it being disbanded and I just hope that uh, if this does go through that the ones that come aboard have a solid understanding of utilities because it's a complex issue that affects the lagoon as well as the longevity of services within the city of Vero Beach and the financial impact of all of that and um, I live in the city I've love the city of Vero Beach and I just hope that if this goes through that they take the time to really put solid people into these positions because it's just not um, as simple as looking at information that's brought forth there's uh, a treasure trove of information of experience that the people that sit on this committee should have um, to make decisions in regards to what's best for the utilities and uh, I have enjoyed serving with everybody and We've had some lively conversations, and and I think that's what makes a committee work is a cross section of representation and thoughts on on getting to the end result. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I too have enjoyed working with the, my fellow commissioners, and and uh, I think we've got a lot done. We can uh, we can look back. Uh, I think uh, with a lot of pride and uh, satisfaction, and with uh, the annual report that was prepared, uh, it says a lot. Um, I, uh, again, I appreciate uh, the work my fellow commissioners have done, and uh, Jim, everybody that's that's helped us. So uh, we'll see. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Mark. Uh, Mark Mutcher, six seventeen Indian Lilac Road in the city. Um, I. <coughs> You all gave these little speeches, and they all sounded like death knells. I mean, there's a, there's a chance that most, if not all, of you can come back, even if this passes. However, I would like to take this opportunity to encourage, uh, uh, and this is no slight to Jane, the the but for political and other reasons, the county commission to appoint Rock as their representative, and for the city council to appoint uh, Jane as an, at least an alternate because um, of her invaluable experience in water and sewer. So that's all I had to say, and I wish you all the best. Thank you, Mark. And I think part of the reason this may sound that, that way is we really can't discuss this except in the sunshine, so this is the first opportunity that we've all had a chance to, <laughs> to talk about this together. Um, and... Uh, so that's that's good. And any other comments? Yeah. Uh, Pillar Turner, fifteen Indian Bay Drive. Uh, I've, I think it's no secret that I am vehemently opposed to this ordinance and have been. Uh, back in twenty ten, a ordinance was made to limit three city residents and the rest county and, and place a, uh, have a position for Indian River Shores to try to give a more representative uh, character to this board of our customers. This is what's generally done in utility boards. Although this is not an independent utility board, it does report to the city council. It makes it even more important that we give our county residents representation on this board and I would ask that this committee consider sending a letter to the mayor and saying that we feel yeah that we are no longer a representative government with this change and that it dis disenfranchises our county customers and we'd like it to be reconsidered thank you okay mr. chairman yes I would like to say that during the last few months um, I have been approached by not probably a good many of the residents in the unincorporated areas who know that I represent them on this utility advisory commission, which came as quite a surprise to me, but they uh, have sought me out. And many of them are not quite so enamored with the idea of the uh, water and sewer being taken over by the county. So I think this ought to be a point uh, that the um, city ought to um, take into consideration because everybody is not on board with 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 the county um, and their utility so um, I just throw that out as a point that uh, might be of interest okay 
How do you feel, Mr. Chairman, about accepting uh, Councilman uh, Turner's uh, recommendation that we draft a short letter from you uh, indicating at least uh, for the reasons enumerated uh, that uh, uh, they take the time to reconsider um, uh, the action? Um, I I think it's probably a good idea. I think that the, um, you know, the county ratepayers needs to be represented um, at a, at more of a proportionate level. Um, I think that uh, you know, and I and I <clears throat> honestly, while I understand that uh, one council member hasn't felt that he has a representative here, our purpose hasn't been to bring information from a councilman to a council uh, from a council person to a council person. It's been to, as a group, advise the council as a whole. Um, and we've been able to do that the way we're structured now. Um, I'm hoping that uh, if this passes, that it won't become more acrimonious um, with representing different views. Um, and uh, But um, so, yeah, if, it's, uh, if the committee would like to do that, we can certainly... Well, I, I, I'm <clears throat> I'm confused because ultimately the city council can do whatever they want. I mean, they can act on recommendations from this committee. They can reject them. They can. They're the ultimate decision maker. So, to take in this step, it seems to me, is um, simply uh, extraordinary in some respects and uh, untimely. But I, I'd move if if it looks like there's support here for you to draft a letter reflecting the general view. Uh, and and uh, and follow the suggestion that's been made to uh, uh, present that formally uh, from you to uh, the council and, and the mayor in particular. No, I think it should come from from him and as as this committee, not just representing his opinion, oh, no, but this whole I, committee. I, I, as chairman of this committee. Right, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. I think each of us have the responsibility, if that's our feeling, to also respond as individuals. Oh, okay. Well, he made a motion. I'll second it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have... I don't know. Can I make a motion today? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. my last motion. <laughs> my last second. <laughs> um, okay. So we have a, a motion and a second to send a letter to the mayor representing the feeling of the commission that we should. Let's discuss it. Well, I think, I think they should. I think council, uh, Councilman uh, Councilperson uh, uh, Turner said it very well. That the the structure we currently have was set in place to more fairly represent all of the all of the uh, individuals and, and homeowners or whatever that are part of the city's right, utility mm -hmm. service, and that's it. Happens to be sixty five percent of them are outside the city limits, and I think uh, I think her comment that. By changing this is in, un, into itself going to disenfranchise a good number of people. Okay. And for that reason, it should be reconsidered. That's about as okay. good a summary as I can put on it, I think. Did I say that right? Well done. And I think the point with the fact that the county will be appointing the only representative from the un, unincorporated area of the county, not counting any river shores, that that possibilities of that becoming a political appointee who may or may not be as open-minded and um, willing to listen may throw that commission into turmoil when there are issues of, of the utilities, water, and sewer t being taken, discussed. Okay. The, um, that's, I think that's a very good point, one that I had not considered. Um, before we talk today, the um, any other thoughts, Chuck? I think that wraps it up. It's a committee that works, and I think we ought to try and express that to the council. Okay. I um, I, I agree with everything that's that's been said, and. Um, the uh, 
We'll be happy to do that. Write the letter, and uh, we'll get this to the council. You need to take a vote on the motion. Yeah, yeah we will. But I'm just still discuss it. Just my final bit of discussion here. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we take a vote on the motion, um, and uh, we'll present it to the council at the next uh, um, meeting, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see what where it goes from there. I'd also encourage everyone to send their own letter. Um, and uh, also encourage those of our absent members um, that they may want to uh, send a note as well. Okay, so let's call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Um, any other business to come before the commission today? Move to adjourn. Okay. Second. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.